Hey people, Aces Army here, and today I'm bringing you the first part of the intermission DLC for Final Fantasy VII Remake, so the Yuffie story. Uh, so yeah, really excited to play some new content for Final Fantasy VII Remake. Um, I've replayed the first hour of the game, uh, the bombing mission, with the PS5 upgrade, and honestly the game looks stunning now, uh, even more so than it did originally, um, and, and a lot more intense as well, I found, um, with the lighting changes. Anyway, without further ado, let's dive into uh, the new story. Well, guys, your girl finally made it to Midgar. Yuffie. <clears throat> My name is Yuffie, Materia Hunter and Elite Special Forces Operative for the new Wutai government. I have orders to infiltrate Shinra headquarters and steal their ultimate materia. To prove to our common enemy that Wutai is not to be trifled with! Okay, let's have a quick uh, look then. Okay, so we're on the Midgar City outskirts. Nice little uh, character model for the menu. What have we got? Steel, obviously. Deadly dodge, nice. Healing. Parry. Ah, oh, right, okay. It's the parry dodge, just not the full one yet. Uh, and assess. Okay, oh, we have quite a few different um, materials there. Synergy, Subversion. Okay, stick on some fire material too. I mean, it makes sense that Luffy would... Um, Luffy? <laughs> This is not One Piece. Um, Yuffie, Yuffie would have uh, some, some decent material to start with. Okay. So we've got the four point shuriken. And the ninja armlet. No accessories. Okay, we've got a few things um, set up here. So what we've got, Art of War, Windstorm. Let's 
stick on uh, ice and lightning. Because we've already got a fire material on. What does this do anyway? So Art of War. So a lot of uh, attacks. Gust of Wind. The damage is all nearby enemies. And then this is just fire, ice, lightning and wind. Uh, and then Limit Break, unleash a, uh, a flurry of blows, deals a large amount of damage. Nice. Okay, I just want to lastly quickly just double check. So my audio settings have kept over from... The, the main game, so that's great. Okay, right, we're ready to go. Nice. Um, I know you get someone else on your party, but I don't think you can actually play anybody apart from... Um, apart from... Um, Luffy? Yuffie? Oh my god. This is, this is doing my brain in already. Why did I have to read from One Piece earlier? Okay, so you get different attacks. Depending on if you're holding your shuriken or not. Nice. Yeah, so by the looks of it, so you can um, throw your shuriken with triangle, then you switch out to some sort of maybe uh, ninjutsu attack. Yeah, there we go. Heal your weapon. While you're away, you you can perform long-range ninjutsu attacks. It will return automatically after a certain Make amount of time. It's good, though, because we got both... Um, close and long-range attacks. Which is good, because obviously you have, you're not going to have the other... Um, party members like uh, Aerith and Barrett to deal with those enemies, so it's good that we've got both. Okay, so I can destroy boxes from a distance too. Oh, here we go. Can't aim for those though. Maybe from here or the other side. Flip when we uh, traverse. Nice. Oh, okay, so the, the ninjutsu. So, so it looked like um, the ninjutsu there was quite close range, so I thought maybe I could take him out with some uh, lightning ninjutsu from um, from up close. There we go. Throw out an old cure there. I have to bear with me on this because I mean I was rusty enough playing the first hour of um, the remake and that was with like a level 50 character so this is starting from scratch again huh? 
no palm. Ah, look okay. at the plate. It looks so shiny, not blurry in the distance at all, like the uh, original version. So say we didn't get to look at the plate because um, we were above it in the bombing mission, but you can see it's a lot clearer, um, a lot more finessed. Okay, one thing I did want to see if I could change very quickly. I am going to be fussy here, just because... Okay, I can't... Um... Let's just turn the camera down one. It's just, it's just a bit too blurry otherwise. I was going to say, so that I can just sort of the old shuriken. Okay, well this is pretty cool. We're not going to have to worry about going round for things all the time uh, with with Yuffie. I said it right that time. <laughs> Didn't say Luffy that time. With Yuffie. Um, yeah, we can just uh, use our throwing star. I wonder what they, like, so with the combat for this, I wonder if they thought, you know, everybody is loving the combat for Tifa, let's, um, let's try and mimic that a bit. I wonder if that's what they were thinking. Right, there's a couple of different ways we can go here. Looks like there's a box down there. Yeah, I wonder if they thought, yeah, everybody is uh, really enjoying the combat with, with Tifa. Let's, let's explore that more with um, with Yuffie. Gotcha. Right, so which is the way I'm supposed to go? Just out of interest. Let me just um, quickly go back up here a second. Ah, right, okay, so this is the way I am supposed to go. This is potentially a little extra bit by here. Because the uh, the Moogle poster is there. So let's just see what's hiding up here. Come on, game. I guess we can just hop off once we're up here. Aha, materia. HP up, nice. Okay. Okay, I gotta get, stop getting confused with but, which button to press. Deadly dodge, I do like deadly dodge to be honest. Also need healing. Steel. I think it, it's it's kind of situational steel. Um, Parry, I don't think I'll use that either, to be honest. Or assess. Right, with, I definitely want HP up on. I don't think I want... Um, I don't think I'm going to use parry that much, to be honest. I'd rather have ice. And lightning on, just have... What's that? Breach and dispel. Let's go for this setup for now. And then obviously if we get to a point where we do need to steal things, then we can always um, stick that on. Nice. 
Yeah, I'm liking so far how much uh, more mobile the character feels. And as I said, that, that's de definitely what people liked about Tifa. Yeesh, this town's a total dump. I thought Midgar was supposed to be the marvel of the modern world. Talk about false advertising. City of Mako? <laughs> City of garbage, more like. Power wrist guards, stop doing that. Nice. Yeah, I'm just telling myself off here for pressing the wrong buttons. Gotcha. And to do. Yeah, I'm sure this would be a lot smoother with the performance mo mode rather than the, the graphics mode. But um, yeah, I kind of wish there was a way to turn off the motion blur. Okay, another one of uh, Sephiroth's dudes. Looks like he's been attacked. Huh? I gotta do something. Oh, you'll do the trick. Come on down. Ooh, material over there as well. We don't miss that. So we can um, slide all the way down from here as well. Okay, what I want to know is what do I do to get across? Maybe I have to do it from the other side. Or is there a way to hop up, hop off, sorry, halfway? Let's go and uh, save the dude's life first, and then we'll worry about that after. Have no fear. You be here. Ah! Okay, that was a bit weird with the. Uh, the camera angle then when we got that. Okay. Yeah, I need to heal. Guys are strong. No, game over already. Okay. Well, the game just showed me. <laughs> Definitely want to stay away from these guys if I can. Okay, spell. QR. Thank you very much. Okay, well that went very differently. Uh, so not even a thank you. <laughs> yeah, that attack really messed me up, Jesus. Okay. Time for the material hunter to do all work again. get what we get. Wind materia, nice. I wonder if there's going to be something to do with um, materia mastery as one of the trophies for, for Yuffie. 
<laughs> I've got to pause every time because I'm so tempted to say Luffy. Ah, my brain. Let's make sure we're at full health in case we uh, come across one of those damn devil dogs. Another guy, a robed guy over there. <laughs> Do you think the game is like forced to the camera up to say, look, look what we did to fix it? Nah, a bit too excited there and I pulled out my mic. <laughs> yeah. It does look so good. I mean, it looked good to begin with, to be fair. I wasn't like a big critic of all the backdrops. I, I thought it was good for what it was. But yeah, they've definitely done a lot of work on, on getting this right. Okay. We don't want to see no Genova here. Guess when he's calling towards Shinra Tower. I love the little t -t -ha reference there. Awesome. Like when you meet her on the uh, in the forest for the first time by um, by Fort Condor and uh, Jenin in between those two. In fact, I think most things. Right, where's the? Uh, I recognize now. I was gonna say there's no there's no way saying which way to go, but you can go both ways. So this is from okay. when you first get to um, used to it. <laughs> six to seven, is it? Nice try, Midgar. Yeah, this is the little place where they they send you to train and catch monsters for them. Me the goodies. Gotcha. Okay, that sealed off area is where Cloud goes to fight one of the um I don't know what to call it, like an like a beefed up version of those dogs that we were fighting. MP up. Nice. Yeah, when we get a couple more slots, I think I'll um, I'll stick that on too. Magic is just so uh, so strong in this game compared to anything you can do. Like, you can be really strong with like countering on some of the physical attacks, but I want to remember the magic was always just so strong. Yeah, I imagine how quickly those dogs would have killed me if I didn't have the HP up on as well. Monsters It'd be obviously a lot better when it's leveled up, but yeah, jeez. Local Reactor 5 has been temporarily shut down and all fires have been successfully extinguished. The situation is under control and the people of our first city need not worry about any additional complications. We are in the process of conducting a full forensic investigation, but we suspect the device used was similar to that employed in the attack on Mako Reactor 1. Oh, 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 what do we have here? <laughs> Man, that's gotta be Avalanche! Not bad, not bad at all, but I can do better. Yuffie? <laughs> Yo. What? There's our palm! So oh, you're Avalanche? I'm Jija. Follow me. W wait up! So, 
Gee, Jeff, why didn't you come meet me before? I figured an elite W agent could find their own way. I may be elite, but it's not like I've ever been to Midgar. What exactly is a W, anyway? Anyone who lives where you just came from. Think of it as a code name. Uh-huh. Still can't believe they sent a kid to do this job. This kid could kick your ass! Saying you're a fresh face is all. Oh, don't worry. I know exactly what you're saying. Give me a break, will ya? And let you walk all over me? Okay, I was waiting for that conversation to end. I was hoping I could walk over here quickly to see hey, the apartment don't blocks. Want you lost. Ah! Hey, don't want you getting lost. Okay, ah. Well, it looked like from a distance that the door had been fixed. The terrible door on Cloud's room. Okay. I will take a closer inspection as soon as I can, though. Materia, let me at it! So sparkly and beautiful. I don't get it. The mission was a success. So why huh? they Here we are. Ladies first. There they are. Gangs all back together. All in one piece. I wonder if we'll see everybody from afar at some point. What's a little rest stop? What do we do? Downstairs? Ew. Is this locked? Boomerang! That's a different colour. Because it's a weapon. Ah, uh, stop pressing the wrong button again. Okay, slightly stronger with magic. Gains proficiency if you evade attacks. Alright, we need to finish uh, the proficiency with this first anyway, so. First weapon is always like the most balanced as well. These two are Billy Bob and Polk. And that's Nayo. Hi. My name is Yuffie, Materia Hunter and Elite Special Forces Operative for the new Wutai government. I have orders to infiltrate Shinra HQ and steal their ultimate materia. To prove to our common enemy that Wutai is not to be trifled with! Members of Avalanche, with your full support, we got this! <laughs> Ready to rumble, huh? You better believe it! So, did you guys meet Sonan yet? He was supposed to be here. Yeah, he got in three days ago. He's out on the town as we speak. <laughs> really seems to be enjoying it here. Oh, he does, does he? You, uh, got any bags? As if. Ninjas always travel light. That's like a rule. Huh. Uh. But I did bring these. Wu Tai's famous da chow beans. Eat up. And here you go. Uh, hmm. hmm. Can uh, you eat these things? <laughs> Guess you do. Sheesh, you ninjas are insane. <laughs> do me a favor, Yuffie, and wait here for Sonon. I gotta head out. Your ID should be ready for pickup by now. Then why don't I join ya? Nah, I got this. Besides, you reek of trouble. <laughs> huh? I can't believe you... Well, <laughs> one of the characters called Billy Bob. Jesus. You look kind of nervous. I just want to make sure I have the plan down pat. You know, like how to get up top and all that. 
Uh, well, if you had an ID, you'd normally just take the train up there. But with all the commotion going on, that's not really an option. Security's on high alert. If you ask me, your best bet is to sit tight and wait for things to settle down some. Sit tight? But I want to go now! Be my guest, then. Go get killed. <sighs> Harsh. If you haven't introduced yourself to Billy Bob, you should. He's got some intel you might want to hear. Okay. Okay. Go to Billy Bob uh, in a minute. You must be tired from your trip. Speak to uh, Why don't you get some rest? With all the noise in this city? I'm freaking possible. How about you tell me where in the Shimmer Building they're keeping that materia instead? Don't hold out on me now. I know you know. Actually, I kind of don't. At least, not an exact location. All I know is that Shinra, for most purposes, treats materia as a weapon. Which means the Advanced Weaponry Division probably deals with it. And since that's in the basement... I see. So, Shinra hides its top secret materia in the basement. <laughs> you won't have to wait much longer, my precious. I promise. Just be careful, will you? Please? Oh, yeah. You should introduce yourself to Billy Bob. He knows a thing or two about the Shinra building. Come on, then, Billy Bob. <sighs> My teeth. You're welcome. So, the material I'm looking for is in the Shinra building, right? And where is that exactly? <laughs> Ignorance truly is bliss, huh? What did you just say? Oh, <laughs> didn't mean to offend you. Of course, you probably knew this already, but there's a whole other city built on the plate above us. Shinra Building's right in the middle. You can't miss it. Oh, that one. Why didn't you say so? Okay. You know about the VR combat simulation module, right? Huh? Uh, of course I do. Why wouldn't I? It's that thing that stimulates modulation. Hmm? <laughs> Kinda. It's a machine that puts you in a virtual world where you can practice fighting all you want. There's even a portable version of it. Guy around the corner has one. Uh-huh. Hardly ever see technology that cutting edge down here. So what do you say? Wanna try it? I really don't have time to be playing around with some stimulator. <laughs> okay. Jeez. <laughs> the guy's name is Chadley. He's over by the neighborhood watch. If you ever feel like some virtual training, I'm sure he'd be happy to help. Someone's still not back? Must be in Walmart then. What's Walmart? Let's just say it's a place for people with mature tastes. Mature tastes. There's lots of different establishments. It's kind of hard to explain. No, I think I get it. Like bars filled with smoke so thick you can't even see. And drinks so bitter you want to spit them right back out. Uh, where everyone gets drunk and complains about how kids just don't understand the value of hard work. They'll be the death of society. Ugh, how can they not see that they're the ones destroying it? <laughs> Wutai's got a place like that, where grown-ups drink their lives away. It's called the Happy Turtle. Interesting. There's a Happy Turtle in Midgar as well. Huh? I don't know where exactly, because I've never actually been, but I do see their flyers from time to time. You do, huh? Oh, they're taking down Midgar one citizen at a time! <laughs> I salute you, Happy Turtle. Come to think of it, there's a man who goes around putting up flyers for the bar. People call him Old Snapper. And he doesn't dress like your average Midgar male. Might be from Wutai. I gotta find him. Man deserves some Dachau beans. Okay. Right. So, it right. looks like we have to speak to him all twice. To so, let's try Polk again. Wanna play Fort Condor? Fort Condor? <laughs> I should have known. It hasn't been out long, so there's no way you W's would have heard of it. Uh, yes I have. And what's more, I'm awesome at it. I'll whoop you so hard you'll wonder if you ever knew the rules. For my benefit, then. Let me go over them. 
Ooh, do we get to play? Nice. Beginner's Guide for Fort Condor. Nice. Okay, let's go. It's a board game, game where you employ units and material to destroy your opponent's headquarters before play begins. Select a loadout. Loadout you can uh, select what board you use, uh, which will determine the number of ATB charges and material available to you, along with the units you wish to deploy. Check what units and board your opponent plans to use to adjust accordingly. Your opponent, the opponent's, uh, your opposition's board and unit loadout is displayed in the right. Um, each unit has a weakness and therefore can be exploited for massive damage. Uh, therefore, keep in mind which units your opponent is using when selecting yours. You can you can't edit the board or units at the, the moment, so press X to start. Okay. Okay, this looks pretty neat. So when the games begin, both you and your opponent will each have three bases, um, headquarters and two outposts. To win the match, you must either either destroy your opponent's headquarters or have more bases left standing when the timer runs out. Okay. Um, units will automatically march forward, engage enemies once they have been deployed. Each unit has an ATB uh, cost uh, required to place it on the board your ATB charges which refill over time can be uh, viewed in the top of the screen so move the cursor to the spot you wish to deploy the unit press X to begin selecting uh, to change your drop location press cancel and reselect so let's have a look. Vanguard units are effective against range units. Range units are effective against defense units. Defense units are effective against vanguard units. Okay, and then it's just saying about obviously the advantages and disadvantages. So yeah, but basically the more you push forward, the, the like the further your line moves. If it's just the same as the old game. So he is a vanguard unit. So, um, I will place a defensive troop, and then I will place a range troop here. Line is moving forward. Magic attacks. Press L1 and you can select the location to cast magic. Once you have made your decision, press X to unleash. Oh, so you can actually use those on the base. Um. Right, this is here uh, he is oh crap charges but I can cure someone if I need to right, let's put some uh, attackers down actually no let's put a range troop down first 
And then, oh, to wait for our ATB. Nice. Okay, well I kind of got the hang of it there. It's a bit like a rock, paper, scissor type thing where it just goes in a circle but what's weak to what. Nice. Damn, Yuffie, how'd you do that? You totally kicked my ass. You mean you didn't lose on purpose? Wow. <laughs> Well, if you're looking for a challenge, the Undercity's got no shortage of serious players. I've kind of got better things to do. Sure about that? Where it is, if you beat the Grandmaster, you can win some serious cash. Materia, too. Materia? Ooh. That's right. But you should know, the hardcore competitors won't give you the time of day till you've proven yourself. Whatever. Bring it on! Okay, so we got a new Vanguard and a new board. Sorcerer board. Recon. <laughs> I won't stop you. Just don't go too far, okay? Okay. So. So we got the combat simula simulator to check out, and the turtle thing to set out. Um. Okay. But these are our main missions, so we can we can still find people though to play more Fort Commodore with by the looks of it. Um okay, right, let's just jump out of here. We're about to wrap up the episode to be honest, before we go and, and do any more main missions. There is the one guy there straight away. Just good to see. Now, will it let me run back? Let's have a look. The cursed door. Oh, it has textures. The doors have textures. Hooray! All problems are final, finally solved. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope you uh, guys enjoyed this one. I'll be back uh, with the next episode of uh, Intermission. Um, shortly so i hope you enjoyed it if you have like the video subscribe for more and i will see you in the next one